Hey guys, good morning, it's Tony. Um, I did wanna go um, a little bit in depth on GameStop, what happened yesterday, what I think can happen today, um, and an update on my positions. Um, first of all, I actually ended up doubling down yesterday. I ended up, I ended up buying uh, 15 contracts of the GME 345s expiring this Friday. Um, this is my full position. I think yesterday I was up like 8K. Right now I'm up 24, 2400 bucks, which is still pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna, I mean, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's, it's pretty okay. Um, what's gonna happen with GameStop? As of right now, yesterday, um, I told you guys that everything was kind of up in the air, right? Um, in the video, I said that I would not be surprised that we dropped to like the 160, 175 level, which is, which is kind of what happened. Um, but this is not something that... I actually, uh, you know, really thought was going to happen. It's just, you know, it was one of those, like, I would not be surprised to retest these levels, right? So we dropped. The main reason we actually dropped here was because GameStop got halted in the morning. It got halted right here, right? At 199, it reached, I think, peak highs of like 200 and something. Highs, well, it did hit 189. Um, hit highs, then it got halted on the way down. And then it kind of stopped and trailed sideways for the whole day. Um, the reason it got halted, it seems as though it was the same reason that uh, Robinhood removed the buy button uh, back in January of last year. Or two years ago, really. Or whenever the squeeze happened, right? A year ago. Um, and it was that was the main reason. The main reason was because it got halted for no reason. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. GameStop should have probably been halted on the way up, not on the way down. Right. And, and the push down happened, you know, it went from 189 to 182 and then 179 all within 10 minutes or so. Um, but it, 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 it's if you haven't been on on Reddit or you haven't seen it. Right. It's just, you know, it's hard for me to explain and give a full like detailed thing about what happened. Um, but you know, I highly recommend that you go to Reddit to, to read, uh, either wall street bets or, or on super stonk and, and, and go read on what, uh, what happened. Um, so yesterday, unfortunately, um, like I, like I said, we did end up coming down to 160, 175, which is what I initially thought was going to happen. Um, we were supposed to actually end up running to like 510, which is kind of maybe what happened yesterday. Um, and a lot of people got notifications on GameStop that their 510 calls were in the money. I have 510 calls, right? I have these expiring in two weeks or so. I never got a notification, never, right? Um, so, but but I, I'm not saying that it, it never happened. Uh, maybe there was a glitch or something, but the thing is when you get notifications that let you know that your calls are in the money that's based off of not an order book not on an option chain it's based off of just price um which is the crazy part which is a pretty insane part is that this is hard coded in this is not something that you know robin hood or other brokers would you know manually uh you know manually trigger this they wouldn't manually trigger alerts when this happens this is this this is a built-in automation process that that happens through code right that happens through code and it's hard coded in so whenever x you know whenever something so when, so lulu hits x price and your contract is 100 bucks and lulu goes to 110 you'll get an alert that says hey your contract's in the money right there's no reason for them to use the order book for price. There's no reason for them to use the option chain as, as for price. There's no reason for them to use anything as price, right? Anything else, like because it, it it doesn't make any sense logically. Um, so that that's that's one of the things that really I want to say upset a lot of people because you know personally if if GameStop went to five ten right yesterday and, and and the brokers actually just uh, paused everything because they were scared of that huge uh, push to the upside. You know, my calls, and I get it. I get why they stopped it. All of all of my plays together would be worth somewhere, uh, you know, north of half a million dollars, right? If yesterday we actually did go to 510 and, and the, the brokers wouldn't have stopped it or wouldn't have paused GME, my play would have, my, my calls would have all been worth collectively a little bit over, you know, half a million dollars, right? Um, so I understand, I can't imagine other people with, you know, everybody else with shares, everybody else with more calls than I have. I can't imagine what the, what, what kind of crazy, ridiculous payout, um, it would have been right. Something, something stupid, insane. And then not even that, 
But if we ended up staying up there for the rest of the week, every single call would have ended up in the money. And you would have you would have a hundred percent had a gamma squeeze next Monday. Hundred percent, I guarantee it. If we ended up running a 510 and we ended up staying there at, on Friday, you would have a hundred percent had a gamma squeeze next uh next next Monday, which would have been ridiculous. Um anyways, but as far as today, um this is something that I'm looking at uh, that, that reminds me, this, this reminds me of TA a little bit, right? Not, not TA, this reminds me of the second squeeze that happened on, on GameStop. And this was, here we go. This second squeeze right here. So this is going to be a little bit longer video because I'm actually going to go into TA. Um, well, that's weird. But I'll show you guys, right? A little, little bit more digging on what happened last time. Uh, we we actually ended up running on from 150-ish to like 345. This is what I hate. I hate that it always makes me go all the way back. We'll do the one hour. That's the most I can do. Hold up. Here we go. So we'll do this. Do, do, do. We gotta dig deep a little bit. So this is what happened on the second day, on the second Tuesday, right? This is March 8th, March 9th, and then March 10th was actually up here, which is a which is a Wednesday. So what happened, right? From March 8th. On March 8th, on Monday, we started off at 149.40. And I'm going by the second squeeze, not the first one, right? The second one. Uh, we actually ended up popping from 150 all the way to $208 on, uh, on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we popped, and all we did was just trade sideways all day, right? All we did was pop, trade sideways all day, and then on Wednesday, you actually ran from 230 all the way to 345 So... This was on Wednesday, um, and, and that's exactly what happened uh, yesterday. We popped in the morning, and then all you did was trade sideways, right? That's exactly what happened. You had the initial pop on Monday. Let's go all the way to what just happened. So what are we at right now? We're March 30, 29, 28. 28 is right here, right? So on Monday, right, Monday... When it was right here, you went from 150-ish, you had a pop all the way, 28. You had a pop all the way to 189, so you went up 39 bucks. Let me get rid of this for you guys so we can see a little bit better. We had a pop, and then the next day, we popped. We could have popped higher, but we got paused, and then all we did was just trade sideways. So if this is any equivalent to what happened on Wednesday on the second squeeze last year, um, we might see a hundred dollar run up from here. We might see two hundred and seventy nine dollars today. Um, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. The probability really isn't that high because GameStop right now is just kind of trading sideways. It's it's not even really holding up that. Um, oh, actually, it is. It is holding up that one eighty price pretty well. But I'm not saying it's a for sure thing. But Wednesdays are are the known day that that uh, that GameStop actually pops right hard so that's what i'm trying to you know i think for the most part you know we'll go we'll even go back to the original squeeze right right here from what i remember on the original squeeze i mean i don't know if i can see it too much on the chart but from what i remember on the original squeeze i remember buying ten thousand dollars worth of sixty dollar calls on a friday on monday so at 10K, when it was worth around $40,000, right? And I was super happy. It was Monday, and I'm oh, hell yeah, this is awesome. And then on Tuesday, it came back down. And I think I was at like a break even. I was only up a couple grand. And I was like, oh, crap, this, this sucks. Because it, it basically just like came back down on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, it popped all over again. And Wednesday, I made all that money back. It went to 40K on Wednesday. Um, and then I remember the, remember the peak of it happening was on Thursday because on uh, on Wednesday I remember selling my my calls were worth forty thousand dollars and then I sold 
And then Elon Musk tweeted Game Stock. And then the next day we rallied to like 400 something dollars, right? We, we hit highs of 482. And my calls would have been worth like $400,000 if I just held till Thursday. But I mean, I, I would have never guessed that Elon Musk would have tweeted Game Stock, right? But it seems like we might play out that similar scenario, right? It seems like we might be playing out the similar scenario on, on what happened. Um, and I think if we do have a big move, I think it's going to be today in the morning, um, which is basically what's happened every single time. Usually the, the, the big pops are in the morning on Wednesdays for GameStop. So we can see a little bit. We can go into a little bit more deeper here. This, sorry, it's going to be a long, not a long video, but just longer. So we popped Wednesday. Yeah, so Wednesday, we actually ended up March 10th. Yeah, Wednesday, we actually ended up popping from 240-ish all the way up to like 280-ish. And then we popped again. We hit peak highs at between 830 and 930. So between 8.30 and 9.30, we hit peak highs of 3.45 before coming back down. So as of right now, I am looking at early morning. Um, I'm looking at early morning to see what actually happens. Um, I want to know if there are any like clear triggers. Let me see. Did we actually close? We closed bearish. Came down. We closed bearish on the four hour came down yeah so i mean i don't know i'm trying to figure out the best way to play this but i think the only way to actually play this um would be to have because this is the first this is the second time i don't know it's hard right now to, to tell what's going to happen with gamestop today either we you know either this is peak high or we keep pushing to 279 dollars today right it, but it's really just, I mean, I don't like saying that because, you know, it's either up or down, right? It's either up or down. Um, I think if there's a move that happens, it's going to be between, you know, it's going to be before like 10 o'clock. And I think that's where peak might be. Um, if we end up doing something else, then that's fantastic. But I don't know, man, this one's kind of hard. This this one's kind of hard to, to feel because, I mean, if I just had to look at TA, TA looks pretty bad. The hour is bearish. The four hour is bearish, right? The hour, well, the hour is pretty good, actually. All we've been doing really is trading sideways on on the hour. That's it. We've been trading sideways on the hour. The 30 minute is bearish. The 15 minute is bearish. The five minute is about to go bullish, but I don't know if that really matters. The daily, daily is still bullish-ish, right? It's still bullish -ish. I mean, you're, you're starting to be a little bit oversold, but at this point, you know, GameStop can keep pushing to the upside. Um, but also the brokers can just halt it, right? If it, if it, if it, if it goes to maybe run again to maybe 400, 500 bucks, what's, you know, what are the chances that the brokers just halt, just pauses it all over again? They just halt it. So today's kind of difficult. I mean, I think if something happens, it's going to be in the morning sometime before 10 o'clock. And then after 10 o'clock, I can see GameStop diving hard, um, onto, onto, you know, the upcoming, uh, up to the upcoming week. Um, but Personally, I think today is gonna to be the last day that I hold GameStop. I think it's too risky. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell all of my calls expiring this week, probably today in the morning, um, unless something crazy happens. But I'm still gonna be holding my calls expiring for the for next week and for the week after, just in case, because I still think that we can possibly see another push to the upside next week, right? Which is that which is referencing that three week cycle. Um, and right now we're actually on the second one. We're actually at second week, right? First week, second week, and I think we I think we peak April 8th, I think, which is next week. I think that's when we peak. But yeah, I don't know. Things are weird, man. Things are weird. Um Yeah, if we do something crazy, I think it's gonna be, you know, today. Uh it'll probably be today, but let me see. It just there's too many things to too many things to talk about. Yeah, it's it's not it doesn't even hit any trends really. Like it doesn't even hit any trends. Like it already closed. I mean, at the highest peak out, right? Highest trend out. It's closing. You know. It's closing above the 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 majorest majorest trend. You already have a full week. So I even if, if I was doing TA, you know, I would not be surprised to just see GameStop from here run to like four eighty on fundamentals, right? I don't think GameStop is worth that much fundamental wise, but. 
you know, I don't know. It's weird. There's a lot of stuff going on. If anything happens today, it's going to be in the morning. TA says that it can possibly keep running to infinity because it just broke, you know, the major trend that you can possibly find for the weekly. So next week, we can probably see, you know, like 228 next week. I don't know, man. This one's hard. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.